all right what's up youtube um this will be my first video for my youtube page and um today i'm gonna be cleaning out my ball pythons enclosure and setting it up i'm gonna be adding a couple things so um yeah stay tuned for that okay so this is how my snakes enclosure is looking at the moment i have our water bowl it needs to be changed um Right here, I got the cold side. This on the right side is the cold side. I have a thermometer on each side. Um, you don't necessarily, well, I won't say you don't necessarily need two thermometers, but um, get two thermometers for each side of the enclosure because it helps keep up with the um, temperatures for the cold side and the hot side. So, you know, and I have this over here. Her um, heating pad is actually under this enclosure, but, um, a little tip for you guys that's new to ball pythons do not put the heating mat inside the enclosure put it underneath the tank okay so um i'm gonna get her out and um i'm gonna just put her inside of this just for the video so i can clean out her tank and get everything situated for her so um yeah i'm gonna show her to you guys real quick all right so that's my baby right there she um she ate like what three four days ago it's um it's sunday and she ate wednesday night so yeah just a couple days Aww. haven't really messed with her i didn't want to you know stress her out too much but that's my baby i just put her in there until I'm done with this video. And I know her. She's going to be all around this freaking box. So I am going to have to close it. And put that shoe on top of it. Because she will get out. But. So you guys can look at her. Very healthy snake too. She's beautiful. Alright so. Let's get this started. I'm going to start by taking out, um, you know, the two enclosures, get all the branches and stuff out of there and pick up all of this dirt. So, yeah. All right. So this will be the first to come out. It's just, it's nothing too extra. It's just a little, just a little high for, you know. And I have this. I got this, well, a majority of everything in here. I got from my local pet store, like these, and this, and this, you know, and um, I have some, um, the substrate is this. So, Repti Bark. I also got this from my local pet store, also. And then, all of these little branches that you see, all of it came from my local pet store. Except for this. This came with um, the 40 gallon tank that I have for her. And um, for any new ball python owners, I do recommend getting a 20 gallon and up to start. I mean, you know, you can use smaller tanks, but if you're getting a ball python and you're doing your research, you know that these snakes get big. And you're going to have to change the aquarium eventually. So, you know, why not just do it at the moment? You know, just get it knocked out. So, yeah. Water bowl. That's, this thing needs to be cleaned. Okay. Start by taking this thing out. I wonder if I can, like, skip it. Okay. Get all of these out. And just take everything out of here. Everything that's in here, I'm going to be adding literally back into this enclosure. Just for an FYI, you know. Like she has tons of moss in here because it's kind of hard for me to keep this enclosure. Um, well, the humidity in the enclosure to keep it inside because, one, my room's kind of cold. I'm not going to lie. And, um, and two... 
there's a lot of ventilation that comes through this aquarium. Like her whole, you know, this whole little thing right here is just full of vented. And I know um, a couple ways, you know, you could put a towel on top or you could put um, aluminum foil all over here to keep the humidity in. But um, I just put some moss in there and I spray her um, tank. I missed it like, I'd say two, three times a week maybe. And it, it keeps the humidity at the right temperature. So I don't really need to put foil up there. So yeah. So I'll get back to you guys when all of this is just clean. Okay, so I basically got all the dirt that I could get out of And as you can see, her, whatchamacallit, is underneath the tank and not inside the tank. Okay, guys, remember that. But I got, every, well, a majority of it. So right now I'm just taking a wet cloth and wipe down the sides. I'm not going to do the bottom because it's just going to be covered in dirt again. So there's really no point. So I'm going to just wipe down these sides and get them nice and clean. Then I'm going to put the dirt back in and the, um, that, um, substrate that I showed you, the wood chips and stuff and get all these, um, plants and stuff back in here, make it look nice. And yeah, so I'll see you guys when I wipe these down and I'll put more substrate in. I got some rusty bark. This just helps with, um, truthfully, I have no idea what it helps with. Okay, now once you got everything in there, you basically just wanna mix it all together and spread it out evenly. Oh my goodness, sorry, man. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of uh, a little bit more to wrap the bark because I just feel like there's not enough in there. So, yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more. Okay, um, I have all the substrate put in now. I have it all sp evenly spread out. And now I'm going to just start adding moss. Uh, I actually don't know where I want to put everything, but I'm going to just start adding moss in there and putting everything together and just... You know, play around with it, see where I like everything. Okay, I'm all finished now, and this is how she's looking. I um, I kind of went with the same setup that I had when I started the video. You know, I got that enclosure on the cold side. I have that enclosure on the hot side, but I added some sticks for her to climb. Now, a lot of people tell me that ball pythons don't really need snakes, but that's BS, guys. Bro, get your snake some, something to climb on. It don't matter what it is, but ball pythons love to climb. I mean, you might have cases where, you know, your snake in particular doesn't like to do it. But in general, ball pythons love to climb. So this is how she's looking at the moment. <laughs> I um set up moss all around and sticks and all that. I'm gonna wait for the um enclosure, well, her heating pad to heat up a little bit. It's at 70, but you know, I'm gonna wait for it to get to 80. And then I'm gonna put her back in and hopefully she likes it. I hope so. Because it literally just took me a whole hour to do this. And if she don't like it, well, screw her. So I'll get back to you guys when I put her in and you know, everything. But I'll give you guys an overview. sure it's warm enough in there kind of misted it down a little bit too it kind of looks really amazing to me truthfully but oh my gosh how am i gonna get you up out of there okay i'll be i'll be back in a sec okay here we go Oh, this thing is so beautiful, dude. Look at her. 
Huh, I love ball pythons, guys. I love them. Just look at them. Look at her. She like wants to look around. And I'm just setting it down. so beautiful and she's probably gonna go right turkey and close her yeah it's not hot enough guys she's not messing with it it's okay though so that's gonna wrap up this video if y'all liked and want more content then subscribe i will be uploading more videos so like comment subscribe tell me some content that you guys would want me to make. Yeah.